everyone, my name is Emily Tian Chi, and today I am here in San Diego, California with one of my besties, Rachel Pizzolatto. Where did she go? Hey! Oh, there she is. This is Rachel all the way from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hello. I can't believe I'm actually in San Diego, California. This is like a dream. Isn't the weather amazing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rachel, it's been so long since I've seen you. I think the last time I saw you was all the way back in October 2017 for the Broadcom Masters Finals Week. It's like a year ago, almost like a decade. Come on. Or like a billion years. A billion. <laughs> Broadcom Masters was so much fun. Uh, my favorite memory would probably be visiting Georgetown or meeting a Nobel Prize winner. And what have you been up to? I know you've been to that Carnegie Hall thingy. Yeah, I've been continuing my science research from last year and I participated in the California State Science Fair, which was a lot of fun, but I was this close to Intel SF. I've also been rocking out to some Rachmaninoff at Carnegie Hall. Woo How about you? What have you been up to? You know, the huge fashion runways. I'm 2018 preteen Miss Louisiana. Whoa. I've written a few poetry books, and most importantly, I'm on the new TV series with the host, Adam Savage, called Busters Jr. Yay! <laughs> well, I recently moved to San Rafael, California about three and a half months ago, and that's exactly when I started filming. It's a pity you can't stay in California. Oh, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> um, so you're filming. Tell me about your daily schedule on set. <sighs> on set schedule is kind of crazy. So I get up at like 6 a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m. I do some makeup, get ready for 9, go to the set, 9.30, start, 10 hours of filming. Oh my gosh. I know, right? And then I have 3 hours of in-school time on set. And then so you have a tutor? I have a tutor. His name's David, and he's probably the coolest person I've ever met. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And then right after I get off set, I go to gym for 2 hours. That's a 2 hour drive. Oh and gosh. then I do gym for um, 3 or 4 hours and drive back two hours. So what time do you get back home every day? 12 to 2 a.m. And then you wake up at 6 a.m.? Yep. Wow, you're a tough cookie. Thank you. <laughs> so your schedule is literally crammed like, like that. <laughs> like that. So how do you manage your time? When do you actually sleep? Uh, <laughs> I sleep in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most efficient way to sleep, duh. Yeah, the car is pretty comfortable as we all know. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Got that neck cramp. <laughs> okay. Adam Savage is literally like a big fun kid. He can <laughs> he can do the riskiest things, but in the safest manner. And hey, he knows how to ride a unicycle, and he's gonna teach me one day. Oh, yeah, I heard he worked in a circus. Yeah, unicycle, the trapeze, all that junk in his truck. He oh knows. Oh my gosh, he's so multi-talented. I know, right? I also heard that he's really organized. He is so organized. Literally anything he puts down, he remembers where it is. He's like. I got it. <laughs> oh, well, I need him to help organize my room because oh. my room's a pig. My mess. life. Oh, <laughs> it gets real in Mythbusters. Like, the explosions are real, the cars are real, everything Whoa. is real. It's not scripted, nothing. It's. It gets real. Explosions like. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, none of it's scripted. Whatever happens, happens. I cannot wait to watch this. So, then is it dangerous to be on set? Uh, okay, the crew keeps us safe. We have blast panels and eye protection and ear protection, but Adam, oh, he does some risky stuff. So then, who's your biggest role model in science? My fellow people. Like oh. my, yes, my fellow teachers, my dad, my mom, literally everyone in my life. They're a role model to me anywhere and everywhere I go. That's great. Inspiration from everywhere. That's pretty yes. efficient. It's pretty efficient. To get inspired. Um, well then it sounds like you're going to be moving to Hollywood sometime soon and becoming a Hollywood star. <laughs> uh, no, not anytime soon. My show doesn't air until like later, later, later. So I'm still Rachel. I'm still this little nerd here. So you got her forever. So then what do you want to be when you grow up? When I grow up, I want to be an aeronautical engineer. Nice. In, in college? MIT. MIT, if you're listening. Oh, Rachel hey. Hey, options. <laughs> Um, then do you have any advice for other kids going into STEM? For kids going into STEM, follow your dreams, any hobbies, any aspirations you have as a child, you'll probably like when you grow up. So, follow your dreams, anything can happen. 
That is great advice. Well, Rachel, I hope I see you next year at Intel ISF. Oh yeah, you will. Um, but I will be seeing you before that on the screen. So everyone, check out the Discovery Channel for Rachel Pizzolatto on Mythbusters. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, girl, blow it up. What was that? <laughs> no, do it again. No, 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 this is a turkey. That's a. <laughs> hey. Hey, I'm Llama Mama. <laughs> and I'm Pepper Pig. I'm Todd. And this is Llama Bennett. We are with Owl Todd, Owl Belinda, or Llama Belinda. <laughs> and Llama Such Bill, an owl. Who are our best friends. <laughs>